Good morning, guys. Um, it's me. Um, just something I wanted to talk to you guys about briefly. Um, something that I know a lot of you will be very, very, very upset with me over. And some of it I'm sure you guys would be very understanding with. And that is my official retirement from the music scene and into the art world. And you guys are probably thinking, why retire from music? Like, you're good at it. Well, let me invite some people in here and I will explain more in depth about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, don't get me wrong, it's, you know, music is something I've always enjoyed doing. Do not get me wrong. Like, you know, I've always enjoyed music. Always. Like, you know, it's something that, you know, I've done since high school up till now. But honestly, I've just, I've lost the drive to do it. Like, I've tried sitting down, writing stuff the last few weeks. And, you know, it just... And honestly, there's no money coming out of it for me. None. I've been doing music since 2010. And I've always gotten these promises of, you know, you'll be signed to this label or you'll be signed to that label and you'll make, you know, all this money and da 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 well, the thing is, though, I haven't made any money. I sold one CD one time for $10. That's it. Just one CD one time. And that was to a local person here. But ever since that, what's come of it? What's become of my music? Like, I've lost the drive to do it. I don't have that edge that I used to have. Like, I want to give it another chance. Like, I want to give it that shot. But honestly, nobody's bought any of my merchandise that I've posted up. Nobody has ever bought any of my music because they always want shit for free. And no professional label has tried to sign me or bring me on as a paid artist. Yes, I know I'm good. I know what I'm capable of doing. But let's be real for a minute here. How am I supposed to make money if no company is willing to bring me on and actually pay me for my work? I put in... 10 plus years of work into this shit. Like, you know, I've literally put 10 years of my fucking life into this. 10 fucking years. You guys gotta think about that. 10 years of no sleep, giving it everything I got, putting out song after song after song. Literally, I have done everything I can within my fucking power to get somewhere. I have done every motherfucking thing I possibly can. Everything I can. I've given out more than your average artist. And that's just it though, dude. That's going to take a long fucking time for us to be able to pay ourselves. Like, because I did find out, because I did my research today. Because I was actually looking into, you know, about how many subs we need to get. We need 10,000 plus subscribers to get a bronze play button. 10,000 subs. And honestly, that's hard as fuck to do. That really is. Believe me, I've tried with, you know, everything I've got to do that with some of my older channels. And it's not that easy. People say, oh, you know, we can get 10,000 subs, you know, 
in this amount of time, this amount of time. But the truth is, people just don't subscribe to channels anymore like they used to. They really don't. Like I said, it's not that I want to retire, but really, what choice do I have? You know, I've been putting out music for 10 plus years. And I've only sold one album one time. Every fucking buddy that I talk to about, you know, selling my work to them, they don't want to pay a single dime. And that's just it. Everybody wants everything for free. Everything. And here's my question. How am I supposed to make any money as an artist if everybody wants everything for fucking free? I have said it time and time again. I do not work for free. I do not just go up and hand my music out. I have made a name for myself over these last 10 years. And I have had people telling me every motherfucking day that I deserve to be signed to a professional label. That I need to be getting somewhere. And you know, and they're right. I need to be getting somewhere. Like, I really need to think about my future on this one. And, you know, it it upsets me greatly that I have to step down. But honestly, what future is there for me in music? If nobody has ever bought any of my stuff, even after I put out link after link after link to buy my music. To buy my stuff. I've put out merchandise. I've put out. Probably more clothing lines. Than the average person. Normally would. Like you know. I've given this music thing. Everything I've got and then some. I've honestly lost the will. To do it anymore. It's like every time I get up to go to record, I just don't have it. I don't have that drive anymore. Not like I used to. Do I want to make any music as a professional on a professional label? Of course I do. I've got some of the best motherfucking dubstep in the world. And I've had people telling me and comparing me. Like I've had people telling me that I'm just as good as Skrillex himself. I've had people comparing my stuff to major artists that are some of the best in the world. I've had fans I don't even know telling me how good I am. And you know, that does mean a lot to me. And every single time one of them tells me that I deserve to be signed to a professional label, that actually means something to me. That really does. But honestly, no label wants to sign me because one, my physical appearance, and two, because of the fact that I don't have any motherfucking money. They all want both of that stuff out of me. They don't like my looks, and they want money out of me. When I don't have any money, all I have is my ability to make my music. That's all I fucking have. I know it doesn't make sense, Ivan. I get that. I know that, you know, you guys don't want me to quit. But honestly, where is it fair? Where is it fair that I don't get signed when I have motherfuckers tell me every goddamn day that I need to be signed? And I put out demo after demo after demo to professional labels. Every motherfucking day I email these guys. And tell them, hey, here's a demo. Check my stuff out. And every single motherfucking one of them comes back with damn near 
the exact same response. And that response is, your music's good, but your physical appearance is something to be desired. Which means they do not like my physical appearance. They're just being nice about it. I had labels tell me to my face that they don't like my physical appearance. But yet they think my music is dope. Like, I know I deserve to be signed. I've worked with guys like Julian, like my good friend Julian Solano from Nightcore on a lot of stuff. I've worked with Nightcore a lot in the past. And to work with a name of that caliber, that's a huge deal. Even for somebody of my status. Hell, anybody that works with guys like Nightcore is a huge deal. Like, you know, I just, I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Like, I want to be signed to a professional label so bad. I really do. But honestly, what can I do? Unless we prove this, unless you guys have some way that I can prove these labels wrong and make them sign me, what can I do? Like, you guys don't understand. Like, I've given 10 plus years of my life for this and still gotten nowhere. Like, you know, I've given it everything I've got and then some. I've had professional people who are signed telling me that I need to be signed. But the reason why they didn't bring me on is because, you know, they don't have that right. That's the label's job to bring artists on. Would I like to be paid for my music? Of course. I could sit down and write classical music and dubstep music all fucking day long like there's no tomorrow. Like, I really could. Like, my Blackout album, I released that at the very beginning of this year. I released it actually back in January or November. January or February. I think it was January that I released it. But I released my album Blackout this year on my official site. Not a single fucking person bought it. And I shared that album and that link to my official site like fucking crazy. I shared that around like there was no tomorrow. I actually got a couple of people pissed off at me for it. Literally, I pissed a couple of people off for sharing my link so much and tagging them in it. But here's the issue. It's not just people not checking out my music. It's also people not buying my music because they want everything for free. They don't understand how much time and effort and money, well, not really money, but more or less time and effort, you know, I put into this. And yeah, I'll admit, I spent a little bit of money in the very beginning through Artist PR, which was actually a really good site that gave me access to pretty much every label on the planet and stuff like that for I think it was like $20 a month or something like that. I don't remember. But I even went through them in the very beginning. You know, my mom helped me pay my way through that. And we had a lot of deals. But all those record companies that were willing to sign me, they wanted me to fly out when I didn't have the money. They wanted me to fly out sign a contract, and pay four to $500 just so they can sign me. Why would I want to sign a contract to a record company that's going to make me pay them to get signed? That's not fair to me. That's not fair to my family. And that's not fair to any motherfucking artist out there that works their ass off just as hard as I motherfucking do every goddamn day. Why make an artist sign a contract and make them pay for something that they shouldn't be paying for. 
why should an artist have to pay to be signed to a record label? That doesn't make any sense. That's like having to pay to work a regular job. Like it's it makes no sense. Why would you pay your boss for you to work there at your regular job? Same damn deal. What I need is an actual record label that's willing to sign me with no payments whatsoever and is willing to pay me for my work and help actually help develop me as an artist and help me get somewhere. But until then, I am stuck in this fucked up position that I'm in, battling these fucking record labels every goddamn day that I shouldn't have to fucking battle, trying to tell them that, yes, I do deserve to be signed. That yes, you will motherfucking sign me. Every fucking day I fight that battle. I've been fighting that battle since day fucking one. And where has it gotten me? It has gotten me absolutely nowhere. Except stuck in the same position that I've been stuck in. Which is with no money no professional label to sign me or to help develop me and get me somewhere and nobody buying my stuff. And that's just it though, Chad. I'm not able to work a regular job at this time, not only due to, you know, me being arrested you know, back in 2012 and all that happening. And, you know, the original charge being on the record still for whatever fucking reason, even though it was my first time ever. But also the fact that my mom got hurt literally a few months ago. She was hurt by getting hit by a car. Because she was getting off the bus to cross the street and a car came up and hit her at 25 plus miles an hour and sent her 10 feet. And now she's not able to do very much at all. So now I have to stay here. You know, so literally I have to stay here at the house and, you know, and help my mom out because she can't really do very much. So really, like, I'm screwed for being able to pay for what they want me to do. And so, you know, between my record and them not getting rid of it because Akron's a fucked up city, and my mom being hit by that car and me having to be here at the house to help take care of her. You know, like I'm not really able to go anywhere or do anything. Like, yeah, our roommate, he does work during the day. So that is it. That does help. But what else can I really do? Like, unless somebody actually goes out of their way to actually either one start buying all my fucking merchandise that I put out and buy my music because I have a fucking album out for like ten twenty dollars maybe thirty I'll have to recheck the price but I'm pretty sure it's within that range but like between that and nobody buying my merchandise I'm basically fucked And believe it or not, dude, she doesn't really enjoy my music as much as I would like her to because of some of the stuff that I do, like with my melodic scream vocals. Like, I've had people telling me that, you know, my fucking vocals are pretty much just as good as Mitch Lucker from Suicide Silence. And if you guys don't know Suicide Silence, heavy metal band, good guys, awesome guys. Go check them out if you haven't heard them. They got some great stuff. 
But I've had people comparing me to the late legendary Mitch Locker from Suicide Silence before he passed away. And it's actually from his music that I learned how to do the screams that I know how to do. Yep, you too, Chad, man. You'd be safe out there, man. Because I know how those roads are this time of year sometimes, especially during the winter. Like this time of year with the snow still hitting. Same here, man. Take it easy, Chad. And be safe, dude. But like, unless, you know, like I said, you know, somebody comes along and actually is willing to fucking sign me or buy my merchandise and really help me get that boost that I need. Because, guys, I've got several, several clothing lines out and, like, one person has bought, like, two things. But here's the thing. With those, well, with one of the sites, I'm not sure I worked with the other one. But with one of the sites, I have to get $50 on that site before I can cash out my money. Which I think is fucked up, but what can I do? You know, I'm basically fucked as far as that goes. And, you know, with everything else, you know, I just, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm literally at the point in my life where I either need to start making it in music or I need to start pursuing a career and trying to sell my artwork. Which, if you guys know, I do have some flame art that I'm going to be putting out today. As well as some of that really cool graphic stuff that I've been doing these last few days. Like, if you guys don't know, my profile picture is actually one that I actually made myself. Like, the one that I have up right now, that is actually one of my latest art pieces, if you guys didn't know. But, like, you know, I've got tons of clothing, shoes, every kinds of, pretty much all kinds of different merchandise out that just nobody buys. All right, Ivan, I will definitely, like I said, Ivan, I'm still willing, like, I'm definitely going to help you out, man, like, for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, I don't know what to do at this point, guys. Like, you know, like, I see some of my best friends that I've known for years that have no money, just straight up legit making it overnight. Literally like that. And it's like, how do you guys do it? Like, how do you guys become that successful within overnight to within a few weeks to a few days? Like, how is that, you know? But, uh, you know, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I'm at that point in my life where I need to start making money. Like, you know, I can't be doing this free shit forever. Like I said, I don't want to quit music, but what else can I do, guys? If I'm not making money, if I'm over here making all this bomb-ass music and not making any money off of it, what can I do? Like, I have no money. Legit, like, zero money. Not even on my biggest YouTube channel, which has got, like, 300 subs. Which, also, if you guys did not know, I will be doing a brand new game today that I did not know just came out. Well, actually, a couple games. One of them, the brand new Street Fighter game for mobile Android and iOS device, along with the brand new Tekken game that legit just released. 
I will be doing early access on that. Well, not so much early access, but like I'll have access to like a few things because I did subscribe to the thing for when it releases. So that just released like a couple days ago, I think, or like sometime within the last few days. And I got notified through my email. So yes, I will be doing a review on the brand new Tekken game they just released for Android and iOS. Yes, it's free to download. And I also will be doing MMA Fighting Clash once again after several, several months. I will be doing my custom character once again, building him back up, da da da, all that shit. But, you know, like, you know, like I do have those gameplay videos coming. And yes, if you guys are wondering, I did see Roman Atwood's newest vlog. I was literally right in the middle of watching that when I just felt like I needed to take a break from watching that and to do this. But, you know, like, you know, like I said, guys, I've worked with major, major brands, like, you know, just so many different ones, like. I've used some of Cryptic Wisdom's stuff before. If you guys don't know Cryptic Wisdom, great guy, all around nice dude. You know, I've done stuff with Nightcore. How many motherfuckers can sit there and say they've actually gotten to work alongside with one of the main members, Julian Solano, of Nightcore? Like, how many people can honestly say that? Like, how many people can say that they've worked for the military rap group or with the military rap group, Red Con One Music Group? Who can say that, you know, they've done this stuff? Because not very many artists get that opportunity to work with guys like Julian Solano from Nightcore. And he's, if you guys don't know, he's like literally one of the main members. Like, he's one of the guys that helped start that whole thing way back when and that was when they were kids they were kids when that started up and now look at them they fucking blew up they got night cores worth i oh man they're they're worth millions like let me look that up for you guys i know some of you are wondering the same thing Like, you know, Nightcore is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, EDM club and dubstep band on the fucking face of this earth. Like, you don't even know, man. Like, they've excelled far beyond, like, anything that... You know, they've literally excelled far beyond anything, really, like. You know, like, Nightcore is, like, legit the biggest, you know, dubstep group on the planet. And they're literally worth millions. And I've had the honor and the opportunity to work with these guys. If you guys don't know, um, Julian Salon, Julian, who I actually, ironically, this is what's, this is a little fun fact that you guys might not know, but uh, I do not know what that sound was. That sounded like that came from my Kindle Fire, but I'm ignoring that for now. But if you guys don't know, Julian from Nightcore, he actually went out of his way. And I will actually play this for you guys. 
just so you guys can hear this. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, yeah, that's now I know that's on my Kindle. Can I hear this? It's my Kindle going off with, I don't know what, probably notifications. I don't give a shit. But I want to show you guys something real quick. If you guys don't know, I did release an album called Blackout. Uh, featuring the song I Am A Monster. Which literally is like my best fucking, I swear to God, it's my best motherfucking song I've released. EDM slash dubstep wise. But I am going to play this track for you. That Julian himself went in and remade. He literally took this song that I did and did this with it. And I will sit here and I will play this for you guys so you guys can hear it. Hold on. Turn that all the for you guys. But um, believe it or not, dude, he's, he's actually not. But that's because, you know, he's a good friend. He's not, you know, you know, I'm not going to make a good friend of mine, you know, do that, you know. Like, granted, I know I should, but, you know. But, you know, just to have one of my songs taken and redone and then resent back to me as an official Nightcore setup, like, do you have any idea how huge of an honor that is to have that? Like, that's, like, dude, I was not expecting him to email that to me. I thought he was going to send me, like, a new remix or, like, something that, you know, he's done, like, within the last few, you know, months. Because, you know, he literally just got back from tour from, I want to say, like, Japan or Dubai or something like that. But, like, he just got off tour and is taking a break to, you know, do regular job type work and stuff like that. You know, that's cool. Like, you know, that's nice to, you know, see he's able to go back and forth you know, from touring back to regular job and stuff like that. Because, you know, as their stuff, their stuff fluctuates a lot. So, you know, they have to either do regular work or they're on tour a lot. So like, it kind of goes back and forth and it depends on, you know, sales and all that happy ass bullshit. But there is another song that I do want you guys to hear that I actually did a while back that legit, it's one of those ones that people either hated or they just fucking absolutely loved it. And if I can freaking find it, I will play it for you.
Damn it, I can't find the song. But uh, what I'll do is I will actually sit down and I will actually play you another one that actually did it did fairly well for views and whatnot. This is called The Journey. It's actually one of the ones that I actually did really well with, surprisingly. This one was one of my favorite ones to do, honestly. Like this is this is an I am a monster. This is called The Journey. But I want to know what you guys personally think about this particular song. This is one that I have not played on here yet, but is on my album. And keep in mind, all the stuff I'm doing now, like all the stuff that's on these, is just basically free loops that I was able to use. I do just free samples. I will pause that right there for you guys, but and yeah, I know eventually that will make me popular, but here's the thing though, dude. Here's the one thing that just really just just grinds my gears to fucking tea about shit. And I know I've said it before, I've said it a million, 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 million times. I know I've probably pissed off some motherfuckers saying this, but personally I don't give a shit because it's true. You know, I don't do free shit. And not speaking towards you or Chad or anybody else that, you know, has actually tried to help me. This is not speaking out towards you at all, dude. But for all you other motherfuckers that want free shit from me, you're not getting it. I don't do handouts. You want my music? You motherfucking buy the album. You want the link? Message me. And that's something that really pisses me off. Every time I tell y'all to fucking message me, so you guys can get links, none of y'all motherfuckers do that shit. Like I said, it's not in that you or Chad or anybody else, dude, but it's these other motherfuckers that are say they're going to buy my shit, but never fucking do. Like, and that's the one thing that really pisses me off. You guys sit there and say, oh, you know, I'll buy it. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then when you say you go to buy it, you guys basically just turn the other way and say, fuck you to me. And then what are you guys doing? This I have noticed this because I have witnessed this, you know, many a times. Instead of buying my music like you say you're going to, you're turning right the fuck around. And you decide to spend it on fucking booze, drugs, or some other stupid shit that you don't even really need. And that's what really pisses me off. Are the empty fucking promises you guys make. Like that really pisses me off to no end. It really and truly does. Like you don't. You you just can't comprehend how pissed off that fucking makes me. I have my music and everything lower 
than your average person out there. Like literally, I have all my stuff lower than, and I guarantee you, you go to a store, you're not going to find brand new custom shoes for 80 bucks. You're going to find them for like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars. Or where are you going to find a custom shirt for only $25? Or a custom hat or whatever for 10 bucks. Seriously, where are you going to find that? You're not. And I know what all you motherfuckers want out of me, and I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of the fakes. I'm tired of being screwed over. I'm tired of the fucking empty promises. Because honestly, up to this point, that's all it's been for me is nothing but empty promises. Not aimed at you, Ivan. That's really not, dude. Because I know you're legit. I know that, you know, I know your background. I'm not aimed at, I'm not aiming at you at all, man. I'm really not, Ivan. So don't take it that way. And if you do, I do apologize. But, you know, up to this point for me, it's been nothing but empty promises and bullshit. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of being fucked over. And I'm tired of being let on to empty bullshit. You know, I deserve to make it, yes. But everything up to this point for me has been nothing but a motherfucking lie from everyone making me empty promises. And really, can you guys blame me for being the way I am from these empty promises? Like, seriously? Like, I've been told I would be signed many a times. Many times I was told I would be signed. And then when it came down to it, I got shut in the face. I got smacked in the face with this fucking lie. After I found out the truth. Like, when I was supposed to sign... To the record label, which I know a lot of you guys might know by now, which is Strange Music, which, you know, Tech Nine's on, and I don't know if Hobson's still on there before he left. Because I know he was talking about going back. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that shit. But this dude from Strange Music was going to sign me underneath a contract for $2.5 million. Turned out, yeah, the guy was legit. He was for real. But it turned out he fucking lied to me. My family went down to the airport, like he said. There was no plane ticket there. There was nothing there waiting for me. Like, this dude fucking lied to my face. You know, he made me a promise to be signed. I mean, to be signed to Strange Music, you're basically a god in the music world at that point. And I got screwed over because of this guy. He basically was, from what I found out, the promoter. The dude that does the dirty work that, you know, spreads word around, who doesn't have the authority or the power to sign people. And yet he tried to fool me and sign me for a $2.5 million contract. Do you have any idea how rich I would be right now if I had that? I probably wouldn't even be sitting here right now. I'd probably have my own fucking Lamborghini by now sitting out in the driveway. Hell, for that much, man, I'd have, I'd probably have the freaking new McLaren. Hell, for two point five million, and me working for that much, by now I would probably have, probably my dream cars and my license by now. 
hell for that much. I'd have my fucking GED, business degrees, all that shit. Like legit, I would be rich as fuck right now with that much. But the guy fucked me over. He straight lied to my face. And yes, I got a couple messages from them. You know, the guys that wanted to sign me. You know, the guys that, you know, I got a couple messages from the higher ups, you know, apologizing for what he did, that he didn't have the right to do that. And that even though they did enjoy my music, they weren't looking for artists at this time, which it did suck. But, I mean, you know, all in all, I mean, the guys were really nice about it, not going to lie. You know, Tech and the guys were very nice about, you know, the situation and what happened. But because of this dude doing what he did, like, that really fucked with me. It still does to this very day. I mean, think about that for a minute. $2.5 million. Do you have any idea what I could have done with that money? I could have fucking pulled my family out of this fucking hellhole and into a fucking mansion for that much. I still have money left over for a nice-ass car. Hell, for that much, I probably could have opened up my own fucking company. But no, instead, this guy had to go and lie to my face and make an empty promise to me. Saying that I was going to be rich. Saying that I was going to be signed. Yes, the guy actually does work for, you know, strange music. Like, the dude's legit. He's real. Like, I've spoken with him. I've spoken with the higher-ups. The dude was for real. But he was in the ranks of promoter and doing the dirty work for everybody. He did not have the authority to try to bring me on. Yeah, he may have thought I was good enough, which I think is pretty dope. But in all rights and respects, he did not have that authority. Because you see, there are certain people that will get in contact with you for assigning you if they think you're good enough. And yeah, they thought I was good enough, but honestly, they had way too much going on to sign other artists and stuff like that, which, and I can understand, you know, when you got so many artists on a label, you know, there's only so much you can do with, you know, more people before you finally say, Hey, enough is enough for now. We need to cut, you know, and work with these guys to get them going and then pick back up. But, you know, ever since that incident, I never once heard back from any of them ever. I never heard back from tech. I never heard back from anybody about being signed. So obviously they didn't think too highly of me. But you know, like I said, guys, I don't want to quit. I really don't. Because as you guys know, I am one of the best in the underground for dubstep music and melodic scream vocals. And I've proven that time and time again. But unless I get signed and I start making some kind of money, what can I really do? Like, what can I really do unless I start making some kind of money off of this? And like I said, I have pretty much lost my drive to even record anymore. I don't have that edge that I used to have. It's like every time I go to record, I literally, I literally am just stuck on this one track. That just like, I'm literally saying the same thing over and over and over again that I said in the last song. And... And that right there just shows me that I'm losing that edge to speak about other stuff. I 
And that's what I mean. Like I'm losing that drive. I'm losing, I'm not so much losing the confidence. I'm losing the willingness. Well, not so much the willingness, but the ability to just come up with new, you know, songs that nobody else, you know, can touch. Because it seems like every song I put out, somebody else goes and matches that 110%. But yeah, when I put out my dubstep work, everybody else is like, yo, like, this is unique, this is new, nobody's done this. Like, I've taken two different styles that nobody can match and made them sound really good. I've taken the two hardest styles of the EDM music genre that nobody can touch. Like, as far as, like, my style, I've taken the two most difficult sounds in EDM music and combined them together in one sound and made it sound really good. And people really enjoyed it. I mastered that shit within a day. Where it took several people years to even try to accomplish what I did within five to ten minutes. And what does that tell you? If I can do that straight up within five to ten minutes, you know, like, it just, it confuses me. Like, yeah, I know I deserve to be signed to a label. But seriously, unless one of you guys knows a professional record label that's willing to sign me for free, and not make me pay a goddamn dime and actually pay me for my work the correct way. Then what am I going to do? Because one of two things need to fucking happen in order for me to make it. I either need to hit the 10,000 subscriber mark on my YouTube channel. To be able to make it on my own as a solo music artist. Or... I need to get some, you know, you know, signed to a professional label. So unless one of those two things happen, I am legitimately screwed. So I just, I don't know what to do at this point, guys. I really don't. I just. I don't know, like, I'm at a loss for words right now. Like, I really am at a loss for fucking words. Like, you don't even know. Like, if you guys only knew the battle that I face every day. Like, you know... You guys, all you guys see is what I'm showing you. You don't actually see the physical and mental battle that I go through with these record companies every day of my life. Trying and trying and trying and trying to get signed. Sending out millions and thousands of emails a day by masses, by mass sending them to all these labels just to get signed. And then whenever I get asked, well, why should we sign you? What makes you different? I can't come up with a good enough reason. All I know is that I deserve it. The best excuse I can come up with for being signed is that if you sign me, I can bring you money. But... Other than that, I don't know what to do, guys. So I tell you what. I'll make you guys a deal right here and now. I'll consider coming back to music if you guys give me a good enough fucking reason. Or no, scratch that. You know what? 
I'm making you guys an even better deal. You guys help me get to 10,000 subscribers on my music YouTube channel and on my art channel that I'm really starting out. And either or, no matter which, I'll come back and do music. You guys help me get to 10,000 subscribers and I'll come back and do music. But not until then. And if you guys want the link, let me know and I'll send it to you. But until then, I have stuff I have to do around the house. And I'll see you guys later. But you guys know the deal. You guys only get 10,000 subscribers on one of my channels. It don't matter whether it's my gaming channel or my music channel or my art channel or whatever. Whichever channel you guys would like me to send you. You guys help me do that. Then I will come back full time doing music. But until then, it's going to be part time and very little. Or if you guys get me to a label that's one to sign me, then I'll, you know, obviously I'll take the deal. But until that happens, until either one of those happens, I'm stepping down from music from full time to part time.